Hi guys, my little sloths. Welcome to my eating show. I'm so happy that you're here. And by the way, you might hear a little noise in the background because the building across the street is getting construction. Construction, you hear that? Or maybe you don't, I don't know, but I'm just letting you know, and fair warning. Today, I'm gonna be eating Cheetos sushi, hot Cheetos sushi. And I have to give credit where it's due. All 100% credit goes to my friend, Wendy, from Wendy's Eating Show. Hi, Wendy. Hashtag Wendy Kato forever. My girl, I love her so much. You know, Orla and I are getting married soon, and I, I sent her a thing on Twitter. I was like, you wanna be our flower girl? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? This is a big shout out to Wendy because she's the first person that I, I mean, other people have done Chio Sushi, I think, but she was like the one that really, I thought I got my attention, and you know, she's my friend, and so I'm just like, okay, I wanna do this. And a lot of you guys have been asking me ever since she did, oh, can you do, do it too? So I will, but I also, I really want you guys to know that this is inspiration from my friend Wendy, and if you don't know who she is, oh my gosh, I just dunked my hand in soy sauce. <laughs> if you guys don't know who she is, I'm going to have a link in the description box and you guys can check her out. Wendy's Eating Show. So, I hope you grab something great to eat. Here are my chopsticks. It's very hot and I'm very sunburned in the cheeks. <laughs> so I'm going to have my first... Oh, here's the soy sauce, by the way. Now, I know this isn't a recipe, but uh, if you guys want the recipe, I think she, yeah, she did the recipe. She kind of told me. It's very easy. You just make regular sushi, but you just put Cheetos on it. <laughs> now, we kind of, this is actually a little different. We did, we did a special, a special thing. So, if you guys want the recipe, comment down below, recipe. All right, let's get one. Here we go. None of these are able to be picked up. Grab this one. I like that look. Ah. I don't know why you're dissecting it. Hmm. So don't get mad that I'm using my fork, you guys. I am so hot. As if it wasn't hot enough. It's a very hot day today. It's a very hot day today, and these are very spicy. Ooh, oh my gosh. But you know what? Now that I did the fire noodle challenge, as you guys saw, this is nothing. Oops. This is so easy compared to the fire, fire noodle challenge. So many of you guys thought I was exaggerating. No. Someone was like, he's totally faking it. Immediately after my first bite, I got hiccups. And my face turned from white to bright red. And you could see the sweat flying off my forehead. And my lips turned bright red. You can't fake bodily functions, you know? Not like I have to justify anything to the hater, but... You guys, it was so hot for me. Ooh, this is spicy too, but it's nothing like fire noodle. Very hot. Ooh. Ooh. I'm using a fork to eat sushi. Please don't click out now. <laughs> no. You would click out faster if I use chopsticks. Let me show you how I do this. I'm like, eh. See, that's okay, but watch. The problem is these are very big too. You guys are like, boy, put that put those chopsticks down. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. Wendy, this is an amazing invention. There goes that truck I was telling you about. Mmm. Sushi is so good. I was watching, um... Well, her channel is Create Your Own World 111 something, but her name is Megan. Mm. And she was eating sushi and everything on the plate I've never had before. 
I've never, excuse me, had raw fish soup. You're asking, okay, what's in here? What, what do we put in here? Onion, I know that sounds weird. Rice, avocado, some greens, and broccoli. This is like a healthy vegetable. Okay, that's not normal. I mean, th yeah, that's not normal. Broccoli, onion, sushi is not normal, no. It's, I think it's safe to say, ask any Japanese person. Well, Megan was eating like tuna and salmon and flounder and, oh, no, eel. I was about to say octopus. She was eating eel. Like all this stuff I've never, I've never had any of that stuff before. I've never had tuna sushi. I've never had salmon sushi. Only sushis I've ever had in my life were like this, made of like plant-based, you know? And I don't know if it's like a part of me is really afraid. Oh, I can feel my face inflaming from this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if a part of me is kind of scared to eat like raw fish. Ew. <laughs> But I was watching her, and I just wanted it so, and she was just like, mmm, mmm. I was like, ooh, I want. I'm very curious about trying. So. The, one of the reasons when I make sushi, it's always vegetable-based, plant-based, is because it's easiest to work with, and the ingredients are, like, so readily available where I live. Oh, this is hot. Whereas like raw flounder, no, yellow bass, something. I don't know where to get that around here. So it's like a specialty thing. I don't think she made her, no. She, I, if she did, she's very talented because it was beautifully put together. Sorry, that was loud. I just need some water. This is, ugh. Wendy, this hot Cheetos are making me sweat. And like I said, it's already hot where I live. They turned the tractor off. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> it's so hot. We can do this, though. So. I'm hungry, so makes it easier when you're hungry. You guys, so you guys know I'm engaged, right? And now the, my honeymoon after the marriage isn't going to come anytime soon. It's probably going to come in at least four or five months. I really have to save money. I blew it all, basically, in Los Angeles. Getting there, the Airbnb, the food, coming back. I mean, yeah, I just have to start saving it. Well, it's whatever. No regrets, that trip was amazing. It was an amazing trip, no great regrets about that. But, you know, for a honeymoon, I don't wanna be like, ooh, no, let's only have half a sandwich because we have to save money. No, honeymoon, I don't wanna think about money. A weekend, a week, how long are hon honeymoons? Two days? I don't want to be like, oh, I can't. Like, even in Los Angeles, I was going to go eat at the Hard Rock Cafe. I was going to go eat at the Hard Rock Cafe. And I made a little vlog walking around Hollywood. And you guys saw that I went in. I'm like, I can't afford this. So I went out. And I said, I might regret this when I get back. And I do. I kind of regret it, like, ah. Oh. But to me, like, $30 for a meal is too much, I don't know. I am so somber, I keep looking at myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Maybe you can see it better on my arms. Yeah, it's just, well that kind of looks more tan, but I, I feel like a lobster and I'm sweating. Mmm, that's so good though. Mmm. So anyways, about the honeymoon. Please comment down below. I love to eat, I love to try new foods. Well, I want the opportunity to try new foods. There we go. <laughs> 
You know, I want to be able to eat octopus and eel like Megan or whatever. Is there a city anywhere in the world? I'm, it's open internationally. Is there a city that's known for food? Now it's so vague. You could probably say every, every major city is known for food. But... And my engagement mukbang. Did you guys see that? I have a flash right here. In the video I said, oh, I would love to go to South Korea. But oh my god, am I actually gonna do that? My lips are burning, ooh. Okay, now, let's be fair. Wendy had like five pieces, no. I think she had like 10 in front of her. Whew. I have 37. Mmm. It's good though. Mmm. <clears throat> you just blend them up. <laughs> Blending up Cheetos, right? You blend them up. Mm. And then you put it on, because the rice has no oil, it's very sticky. You just roll it into it or sprinkle it on top, and it sticks. Ooh, oh my gosh. Mm. By the time this is done, it's going to look like I just got out of the shower. My lips are starting to turn a little red, aren't they? Meat and spices, they, don't, they aren't best friends. It's improving a little bit. Look at all this rice, these were big sushis. <clears throat> now I'm just eating Cheeto rice. Cheeto rice up in here. Ooh, my, my chair saying, please go on a diet, this is too much. <laughs> it's saying, boy, you're getting heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that happened to one of my friends. His name was Andrew, and this was in middle school. And then it was in health class of all classes. And I remember we're sitting there, and it was one of those desks that's connected to the chair. It's like by this, um, like, steel bar, this w connector, and connected the desk to the chair. Well, it didn't break, but he fell over, and, see, I, I'm not trying to be mean. He was making fun of himself. He was like a class con, like, <clears throat> he was very overweight, and whatever, and... He sat down to the desk and he has to like kind of squish in there and he, like I said, the class kind of, this is literally what was doing. Oh, make some room for me and trying to make his butt fit. And then all of a sudden he kind of lost his balance and he went down onto the floor and then the desk went on top of him. And the funny thing about this story is that the same class, health class, Mr. Bainey, I will never forget, sixth grade. I did the same thing. We were taking our pulses in health class, right? Um, hold on, the thing's about to die. Hi, I'm back. I had to uh, switch the camera thing. Anyways, it was health class. I was taking our, we learned how to take our pulses. Now I'm not gonna do it because the same thing might happen. Taking my pulse and I felt my heart beat and I passed out. But the next thing I knew I was on the floor and the desk was on top of me. I had, I literally went like this and the desk went on top of me. Like, how embarrassing, especially for sixth grade. Ooh, look at that sushi. Why is it not focusing? Oh, I knew that would happen. No. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes. So both me and my friend. Why am I talking about this? Oh, because my chair made that funny noise. Have any of you guys ever passed out before? Mm. It's the scariest feeling in the world. Like really. It's almost kind of pleasurable, I hate to say it, because it really is very scary for me. I've had a passing out problem my whole life in general. You're like, why did you pass out from taking your pulse? Well, here's the thing. I pass out really easily. I've talked about it in all my old mukbangs, if you guys want to check those out. Like some specific stories. But 
There just is. I have a blood phobia, medical procedure related phobia. I get my blood pressure taken at the doctor's, pass out. <laughs> doesn't matter if I'm overweight, underweight, healthy weight, doesn't matter if I'm on a strict diet, loose diet, no diet. The idea, oh, see I don't even, no, I'm not gonna pass out talking about it. Like I passed out in church once from hearing them do the blood drive announcement. Oh, hot. Mmm, but delicious. Yeah, it's very nice. So, yeah. But when I wake up from passing out, there's this tingly sensation that's running through my body. It's like a seizure, slash being on drugs, slash death and darkness, slash light. It's weird. For example, you know if you get in a car, I don't know, you're not gonna relate to this. If you get in an accident, I was gonna say car accident, if you get in a car accident, if you get physically hurt, if you get your arm chopped off, I know this is really gross for talking about, I should not be talking about this while eating. Listen, if you just, you know, there's an accident, right? Your body sends all of these endorphins to your body so you don't even feel the pain. It's like a weird sense of, right? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about this. I am so sorry. <laughs> wow. Mm. Let's talk about me getting married in Florida. How excited. We talked to Orland's mom on the phone today. My parents are such a pain to get in contact with because they aren't like Orland's mom that's glued to her phone. We send something to Orland's mom. Within a few minutes, she says something back. Every time. You call her, she almost always answers. If she doesn't answer, you call her back in five minutes and she'll answer. Hmm. She knows how to use all these apps. Excuse me, sorry. We talked to her on WhatsApp and stuff. My mom just got WhatsApp. But here's my mom for you. I sent her a photo of her house. I was like, look, there's Orlin in our apartment. She receives it and sends the picture back to me. And that's it. Not like, oh, the house looks nice. Oh, I would like to visit you one day. I'm sorry, keep looking over here at the screen. Let me look at you. Um, like, no response. And then the, she just sends the picture back to me. Now, I don't think it was really on purpose. I'm telling myself, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's hitting a weird button. That's not that just that. Like, I'll send her an email and she won't reply for two weeks. It's just, uh. So anyways, I haven't really talked to my parents in depth about the wedding. They know it's happening. They have no objections. Excuse me. But I, I don't, I can't talk to them. <clears throat> my dad doesn't have an email. I'll call mm -hmm. them. <clears throat> but I've learned to always call my dad because my mom will not pick up. Or she'll, she'll hang up before she even answers. You know how it's supposed to ring four or five times before it goes through, right? Well, I call her. Oh my gosh, I feel so hot. I'll call her. <clears throat> on Google Hangouts where it's free. Call her cell phone. I'll be like, ring, ring. Please leave your message. It only rang twice. That means she saw it, clicked ignore or end. And Orlin's like, my mom never does that to me. I'm like, well, that's your mom. Everyone's moms are different. A lot of people are gonna be able to relate to me on this video. You'll be like, my mom does the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm.
Hmm. Wendy, I'm completing your challenge. I'm completing the challenge. Yes, I am. Hmm. In Wendy's video, she doesn't say you have to eat 37. I think I was like, what? I don't even remember. It was at least 30. But it's important to finish all your food. Three pieces left, oh my gosh. Oh. See, oh, a piece of broccoli came out. This is very healthy. Broccoli is flying out my sushi. But I am very excited to go to Florida. Get married to the man of my dreams. <clears throat> Tie the knot, be official. Get my taxes done. See my family, which will be down there in Florida. See Orland's family. Have our parents meet for the first time. I know that's really crazy. But <clears throat> my family's from Pennsylvania. His family's from Florida. We've been together for like three, four years. Ish, three years. At least three full years, but I say ish because <clears throat> we didn't have like a certain day when we're like, we are boyfriends. Um, but they, you know, that's a very far away. My parents both have full-time jobs and other children to look after and stuff to do and pets and everything. They've never gone down to Florida. Orland's mom, excuse me, isn't going up to, you know, so they've never even met. Orland's mom doesn't really speak much English. My parents don't really speak much Spanish. So it's going to be very fascinating. <laughs> but you know what? Our relationship is not about our parents. It's about us. You have to remember that. If your parents don't approve, that's okay. They don't have to like the person you are marrying. That's why it's your marriage. Now, I do want to say it would, it's always best if everyone can get along and all this soup. Because as parents, you want to see your children with someone that will protect you. With someone that will look after you, take care of you when you're sick. Someone that's responsible, pay the bills. Now, the, so, if, if you're with someone that's like, you know, harming you. Or it's like causing you to be irresponsible in different ways, then yeah, that's different. But in terms of like, well, I don't really like his personality that much, or I'm not, I don't really like his interests, you know. Luckily for me, Orland's very responsible and kind and an innocent flower, pretty much. And they've seen the life he's provided me. Like, hey, let me bring you to a new side of the world. His mom welcomed me to live in his house, like two years ago. Three, two years, um, oh, I feel full. You know, I've been safe, I've never, nothing bad has ever happened to me. We traveled to Mexico and Guatemala together, he helped take care of me. Cause you know, he speaks Spanish and I don't, so. Anyways, you guys. I'm done with the challenge. <clears throat> I know, technically I should eat all these pieces, but I can't stop sweating. Whew. Like I said, this is nothing compared to the fire noodle challenge. That thing is a beast. And I'm starting to like spicy food a little bit. I think sometimes you have to get really hit hard. And then all of a sudden, the, the regular spicy things don't seem spicy because you know what it could be like. Mm hmm. What's it called in psychology when you like. That classical conditioning, it's like when you. Your immunity to certain things, your, surround, your environment influences how you perceive certain intensities. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So to you, this might seem extremely hot. Or not hot at all. 
but <sighs> thank you so much for spending time with me today and eating with me. And this was very delicious. I recommend it. Go check out Wendy's channel. Tell her I said hello. I love her so much. And when is she going to come down to visit us? Excuse me. I was actually talking about Orland. He's like, we have to get Wendy down here. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to get going. I need to cool off and drink some water. And I hope all you guys have a really, really good day. And yeah, <laughs> please subscribe. Please consider subscribing because I'm here every single day. I would really appreciate that. And give this a thumbs up if you liked it and ignore my silliness. I'm gonna say goodbye. <gasps> hey, for hours. <laughs> okay, what do you need? You can try, I, this was very spicy. Does my, does my face look different? It shrunk. It shrunk? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel like inflamed. Yeah, it, it's not spicy at first, but then as you go it on. It builds up. Yeah, go. And you want sriracha. I know. I, I was like going to say to put sriracha in there too. I don't know.